and hello everybody my name is Ivan and today's video is sponsored by my masochistic tendencies of just trying to fix Star Wars from time to time and <laughs> today we are going to do our very first fix with the Acolyte yay the Acolyte the show that everybody loves many people love it but here's the thing when I watched The Acolyte, I wanted to watch it with, like, looking at everything. Because in order to make something good, you need to pay a, a very close attention to all of the details. You need to make sure that everything just makes sense, that the characters are well-defined and everything. And one thing that I, th that I think is one of the biggest missteps in The Acolyte is the presentation of characters. What do I mean by the presentation of characters? It's how the characters are introduced. We have a lot of characters that are introduced and you have the first impression of those characters very early on in the series. And I feel like those characters just suffer because their introduction is not really good or it drags or seems kind of weird because later on, on different scenes, they have a completely different personality change. So... That is one thing that I'm trying to do. So today we're going to try to fix the introduction of our main villain, May. As you can see, I've 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 been cutting. <laughs> I've I've been I've been busy. And if you're wondering, hey Ivan, how can I watch your edit live? Well, you can. Um, just turn on the notification button uh, because I do announce the live streams whenever I do edit this live. I, t I usually do about two hours a stream and I've been editing this thing for the past three days. Now, if you want to watch those streams again, unless you're a member, you won't be able to. But whenever I do do the live streams, you don't have to be a member. You just have to like turn the notification, go to the stream. It doesn't have a specific time or anything. So it's just whenever I can do them and then boop. There it is. You can watch the stream. But whenever I go offline and the stream goes into the YouTube repository, it becomes a members only. Anyways, let's continue. But that's why I'm doing also this video is to kind of recap on, on the fixes. So let's look at how we got our main character presented. So please look at this screen, uh, the left, uh, the left screen. The we have. We have May right here. She comes in. She comes in uh, and we have this introduction. I want you to pay attention to to the to the to the music. As you, as you can see the the music is it's 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 a little subtle, you know, and everything. So I feel like as the first presentation of the character, it just kind of feels uh, a little bland. But let's continue. Let's continue watching. All right. So we have May, and she she's here to hunt a Jedi. So she walks through the town. She con she continues to walk through the town, and then she arrives to this to this little guy right here. Where's your Jedi? And then she asks, "Where is your Jedi?" And then the 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 little the little thing points out where the Jedi is at. All right. Then she gives the money and then continues on walking. This is where we're gonna make our our first fix, because here's the thing. The Sith are supposed to be more aggressive, more malicious, cunning, and and just by this presentation alone, you're not making her a good hunter. You're just not making her a good hunter. Whether she has a change of heart later on the show or whatever, that's, don't worry, we'll get to that. But as the introduction of the character, you need to establish some sort of dominance, especially when you have an intimidation factor, which is you're an acolyte of the Sith. So what I did, I decided to add this music right here.
You see? This music is from Knights of the Old Republic soundtrack, I believe. So I wanted to give a nod to, the, um, to that. And now this is what we have. Instead of instead of uh instead of may just arriving to the to the port and asking directions looking like hey she doesn't know where she's going and she still need needs help i just decide to cut that around with a little bit of music to give that intimidation factor that she's just decisive and she knows where she's going so it looks a little bit like this You see, so that way we create a little bit more mystery because she hasn't said a thing yet. She's just walking. So you're creating a little bit of an intrigue. Like, oh, what is she doing? Then let's go back. Let's, let's, go, let's, let's go back to the, to the original. Where she, she walks through the bar. That's, that's fine. You know, we don't have really a whole lot of background music per se. We just have bar noises. And then she she finds she finds the Jedi. She finds Jedi Trinity. And approaches approaches the table. This is where I think the main problem with the introduction, with the first introduction, comes in full display. Let's just watch. She comes in to the table. Master Indora. Master Endora, she says. She takes off her hoodie. The master says, uh, someone's talking to me. All right. Yes, my child. And then you have, yes, my child. I don't know why, but this, this line just kind of like doesn't fit that much. Like it seems a little like, I don't know. It's a little prepotent. We have unfinished business. Then she goes, we have unfinished business and takes on this Megamind pose. You know, when Megamind decides to like cover himself and like, um, she, she goes and takes this. Attack me with all your strength. And that is the reaction of the audience. What? This is why I believe this is a problem because number one, if you're a trained assassin, you're telegraphing that you're going to do something. And when you're like trying to like kill a Jedi, I don't think it's like in your best interest to just announce that you're about to attempt to kill the Jedi but also be on your guard already. If this is if this is her pose, like, all right, so be it. I've seen silly poses in, in anime, so maybe she just watched too much Naruto and said, you know what, I'm about to do my, my little clone no jutsu. Uh, cool. Problem is, what this scene does is that it kind of brings down the threat that she's supposed to be. She's supposed to be an assassin, an acolyte. Like, that is earning her wings, and we want to elevate her. We want to make her feel intimidating, that she is, like, a force to be reckoned with. But doing this type of thing, where she's talking more than she's doing, not only are you breaking the number one rule of don't show, don't tell, but you're also diminishing the character, but by what... It is about to happen. <laughs> you have side characters laughing at her. And here's the problem. They're laughing. If you are a cool anime character, when they're laughing, you just prove them wrong, right? You just have your little, psh, your little glass glare and everything. But the point is... <laughs> She doesn't have that cool, immediate reaction to prove them wrong. She's still in her Megamind pose. 
And, and that to the audience conveys like awkwardness. <laughs> and she's just like waiting like, um, are, you, are you going to attack? Like, what's going on? Like, I'm still here. So first off, we are not intimidated by this girl in any way, shape or form. Like we're done. We're not, we're, we're not. The first impression of our main like assassin, we're not. We're, we're not, we're not intimidated. It's the Jedi that has to stop the laughter. I appreciate your courage, young warrior. I have no quarrel with you. Attack me, Jedi. And then here we have this, the frustration in her voice. Attack me, Jedi. Like, hey, um, like I get it. Like, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're telling too much. You are kind of not helping the intimidation factor of your own character. Let's continue. Jedi do not attack the unarmed. Yes, you do. So after five years of going back and forth, we finally start our, our conflict. And let's listen a little bit to the music in it. As you can see, it's just like this type of like little war drum. One of the problems that I think this this show has is that it it really just doesn't. The music doesn't help it. The music is there to just kind of like give a little bit of like background noise, but it's not there to elevate the scene in any way, shape, or form. So what what, what we have done is to to change this. So in my fix, it's very easy. It's, it's honestly very, very, very easy. What I've done here is that I've eliminated that dialogue. The dialogue where she comes in, she takes the Mega Man pose and everything is, is out of the window. We don't want it here. We do not want it here. We do not. All right. We just don't want it. Why? Because we lose the intimidation factor of this character and she's just she's just kind of awkward you know she's just there just kind of awkward so we don't want that we really don't want that so what i did is that i decided to bring this music as she comes in she takes off her clothes Then, instead of having the banter, we just cut immediately to her with no audio. As you can pro probably see here, I cut the audio right there. So we don't hear her say the cheesy line, we have unfinished business, you and I. You know, we, we, we just kind of skip that. And then I cut to her reaction of the Jedi being like, what are you doing here? And then my girl goes for the freaking kill. She's like, I'm about to wreck your butt. Like, I'm here to, to you know, to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm a lot of bubblegum. So she just, she just does it. Why? Because she's a assassin. And she doesn't need to telegraph. So the scene looks like this now. Master Indara. That's it. So uh, what I want to make her be is a more intimidating, like, being. We want the first impression to be one of absolute mayhem and chaos. And I believe that's what we have here. Now, I decided to add this music. Because, remember, originally, the music is kind of not existent. So now with a little bit of music, You see, 
it just changes everything. So now I I feel like we have a a character that it is is just more intimidating, more direct, and overall you have a sense of like epicness now. You know what I'm saying? Another fix that I did real quick is this. The show has a little bit of like a slapsticky type of comedy. And here originally we had this little mishap. That little ah. I don't know if it's there to to provide a little bit of comedy. I don't know if it's there to provide a little bit of like something. But the point is that it just kind of like slows down the fight because you have more of a... You have that comedic moment, you know, with that silly alien just being like, ah. Oh. So with the music, and I just decided to really cut it. Uh, when it comes in and he's looking at her before going into this ah, especially because in the next shot he's turned away I just cut to where he's looking at her and then move with the um, move, with, move with the scene faster now you probably remember I've added some music so originally looks like this But now, it looks like this. Watch that continuity. And then because of the music, originally when we had the, the Master Trinity over here coming in. You know, it, we just had like a string of violin. I just, I just kind of wanted to give her a little bit more epicness. And that's when I used the, 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 the song with vocals and like grand voices. Anyways, as you can see, those are uh, a couple of, a couple of little changes that, in my opinion, help the pace because the pacing in the show is a little bit very bad and also gives more intrigue to the character the character that we're supposed to be kind of like afraid of now it does have that intimidation factor but it's up to you you let me know what you think and um, i'll see you in the next one bye